registered dietitian Molly Kimball with Oxner Eat Fit and this is one of our Eat Fit DIY recipes. It is kid friendly and we're making Greek yogurt pops. So I'll show you these little guys. They are really cute. So if you're making a smoothie, whatever's your favorite smoothie, go ahead and put it into if you have popsicle molds. That's easy, fantastic. Um, you can use Dixie Cups. I was able to find regular Dixie Cups right now at the store, so these were a little bit too big, I felt. So what I used is these little tiny cups, which are fantastic for little kids. But anything that you have in between, the paper allows you to kind of peel it off, but even with the plastic, they kind of just come right out. What I used instead of the popsicle stick holders is popsicle sticks uh, and cut them in half so that they would be the right size for our little cups. But again, if you've got popsicle molds, solves all of that. Um, the other trick with these guys, and I'll show you all when we get to it, but if you just have your popsicle stick and the cup, it's gonna fall around. So we put a piece of foil over the top, put a slit in it, and that kind of holds your popsicle stick up. I'm keeping it simple. I have a mango one and a cherry one, but whatever you want to put in there. So if you've got berries, if you've got even handfuls of leftover spinach, throw that in there. It's going to make it bright green, but it's also really easy. It's a fun thing to play around with kids. If they've got bananas in there or mango in there, you put the fresh spinach. It's going to make it vivid green, but if they had their eyes closed, they would have no idea it even had spinach in there. It still tastes really sweet. The Greek yogurt that I really like is Faye. I like this one for a couple of reasons, and this is Faye 2%. I like it because that little bit of fat in there when you're making a popsicle, it makes the texture of the popsicle even better. So it's not quite so icy, it's a little bit creamier. So if you're using a fat-free yogurt, think about what could you add in to give it a little bit of fat. It might be almond butter or peanut butter or something like that. Coconut oil can kind of give it a pina colada flavor. So a little bit of fat in here, I would say, is gonna be a key. Carton of Greek yogurt, cup or so. These are little seven ounce cartons. Fruit can be fresh, it can be frozen. But for this guy, I'm using mango. These are just frozen mango cubes. If you're doing it for kids and they might want something that feels a little more sugary, we can add um, a sweetener. What I use is the plant-based sweetener Swerve. So it's um, completely natural, zero sugar, zero effect on our blood sugar or insulin. If you feel like it's a little too thick, you can always add milk or unsweetened almond milk. I actually like unsweetened coconut milk. That coconut milk has that little bit of fat, so again, that texture is gonna be better for your finished product. So we blend it. These are the foil, so I just have the foil cut into little rectangles. And we're just gonna put it over the top. I have the popsicle sticks that we'll just cut right through. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just enough to hold it into place. Tray them up in there, put them in your freezer for a couple of hours, and then you'll see, like take them out, let them thaw for just a few minutes, and then you'll be able to kind of uh, inch them out of those little cups, and then you have these adorable, cute, little Greek yogurt pops.